How often do we stop? How often do we take the handle on life and tip the pot until it's empty, squeeze every last drop, and breathe in with gratitude at the fickle ambience around? How often do we find that fickleness and bask in our own distress and laugh at the heartache that we see in others which is really just a reflection of our own? How often do we stand at the corner store and see someone a few nickels short and reach for our own wallets to sort things out? How often do we sit with the birds and wonder the reason they like to eat worms and fly? Maybe if we sit long enough they could tell us why and soak in their serenades and just be. How often do we be? How often do we take the time to build ourselves up to be the people we need to be for our families? Not just a sack of flesh and bones skating through life on crippled stilts, but rather big chested warriors for good. Proud men and women who embrace each other through difference and smile on the streets, that grey barren pavement becoming something of a meeting ground for peace. How often do we meet difference with intrigue and not fear? Maybe next time we eat at that small Chinese place downtown, we could use the chopsticks and embrace the difference as an opportunity to learn instead of hiding the culture under a napkin on the corner. Ask the owner for his real name. He'll tell you stories that will flood your mind with uncertain times of the past. How often do we laugh? Let the words of our loved ones soak into our skin and wiggle their way up our lips and open them wide and curl them at the sides until our eyes are closed and we make those funny noises that that one guy loves. Until our breath has been ripped from our lungs and it rushes back in, it skips and stutters like a tire to tar. And that silence afterwards. When the laughter is dead but alive is the sense of one, of everything being right in that moment that nothing can go wrong. How often do we grieve when we see the pious picketers preaching in, picking on people without purpose, when we see those with nothing, those who are alone and call their TV their friend, who schedule their weekend around a trip to the laundromat, how often do we call, tell them where we are and that there's room at my table, just let me know when you can come. How often do we pray? How often do we open up our minds and suspend judgment for those who do, who fold their hands and with whispered words hope the best for the world and the ones they love, who have nowhere else to turn but up to the faithful invisible? How often do we realize that that is all of us? How often do we take walking a mile in someone's shoes literally? Maybe not so literally, but at least in a way that we gain a sense of empathy and see things and feel things in the way they do. Nobody knows why that woman handed you your change and scoffed at you, but maybe it's our job to smile back. Maybe it's our job to meet hostility with untamed hospitality until the friction isn't so hot anymore, until the burn stops being skin deep but disappears. How often do we love? How often do we open our hearts to others and see that maybe not everyone is as bad as we think? How often do we look in our lover's eyes? Really look and see the squint at the sides, the silky iris, that deep brown and hard black staring back at you like tiger burnt eyes in the night. Remember that those are the eyes you chose to look at and look at them with deep appreciation and awe. Say I love you like you mean it. Hug deeply, run wildly, breathe slowly, dance tremendously. Love. <laughs>